I, um, I made a video yesterday about um, these energy drinks using UAs to find out um, we had a customer or a client come in and, and have a dirty UA saying they used one of these. So um, we're going to see what it comes up with. I got this is the great flavor. Um, so we'll do that one first. Open a new UA. Never been used, brand new. Um, you can see the markers on it. Negative would be both lines. Positive would have a line at the top and no line at the bottom. And then uh, invalid would be, you know, both or one line and or both lines missing. Get this thing open. There we go. Dump it in. Seal the lid. Locked. Okay, wait a second. Um. Okay, here we go. Peel off the label. I don't know what all that means. Okay. Um, well, you know, that, that one only came up uh, positive for cocaine. That's it? That's it. Is that enough to get kicked out of a sober living house or lose your job? That would get you kicked out of a clean and sober house or you'd lose your job if you were to do that. Okay. Can I see it? Yeah, it's hard to see. That's, which one is it? Uh, it's this one right here, the yellow one, orange one. Can you see it clearly? Oh, yeah, there it is. The orange one is cocaine, and that one line at the top means it's positive. Okay. I'm going to do another one with uh, another, another clean way. This one is... Uh, Berry flavor, the same one we tested yesterday. Now, yeah, these I got in, in Oregon, just down the street there in Salem, at I the same store. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point that Oregon is not as hardcore as Washington. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Empty, I'll pour it in. Seal it till it locks. We'll wait just a minute. These are uncut too, so it's it is what it is. I mean, no, they're not quite. Gotta wait just another second. They're not quite full. Now this one came up, uh, kind of lights bad. Um, I think it's your glasses. Yeah, both. Doggone it, I can't read that line. Um, first one, what is the first one? How long you been sober, yeah, Mike? Yeah, too long. Um, I mean, just ask me how long you been sober. Yeah, uh, uh, October 8th, 1999. Okay, so this one came up positive for cocaine. I mean, it's definitely it's that one there. The orange one again. Same thing. Yeah, it looks like marijuana. That's the front one. Or And positive, you can see the line at the top, no line at the bottom. So it came up positive for marijuana or THC. So this is the second one. Yep. Negative, 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 and then cocaine positive. Yep. Now those I got today in Oregon. Um, and a line is a line, and it also says, uh, yeah, THC and cocaine for sure. And then a false negative on... Um, Barbiturates, but THC came up with all with a line, so it came up THC, um, cocaine, 
Man, that's terrible. And barbiturates. Okay, there you go. Thanks, everybody. Hope that was informative enough for you. Um, don't know what else to do. When I get back to Seattle, we're going to do another one. I'm going to pick some more up on the way and just to check, just for fun, maybe even get some different brands just to check them. You know, it's just an informative thing. I don't know what the legalities are or anything else. I just know that if you're working and you, you know, were to take or get in an accident and have to take a UA and drank one of those in the morning, uh, like our client had, and it would come up positive. Um, and I imagine it all depends on your liver and everything else and how your body processes those chemicals, but um, why they would come up dirty for drugs, I have no clue. So, anyway, thanks.